subscribers, YouTube viewers, and my Twitter followers. Ah, oh, this racist crap going on. I think I found out why these uh, people think white people are racist. They've been playing this uh, South Park game here. <laughs> Brought to you by YouTube's Gamer React Camp, uh, Comp channel. <laughs> It's a funny video here. Let's let's take a look at this video. Maybe this will explain why black people think everybody's racist. Meanwhile, we're cleaning my damn disc. Well, we'll clean this little file here. We'll kill all these little file buggers. Make my computer go a little bit faster. I think I got a, a virus on my computer. Uh, let's uh, play the video. And have a good laugh, but it's funny. No! <laughs> look, look, look. Hey. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to make my character black, right? So I, I, I go to every option, and it says change color, but that's for that option. So right here, this is for hair color, right? So. <laughs> like, I, I can't see any options for a black character, right? So I hit next. <laughs> oh my god, yo. What's wrong? <laughs> when you, when get, you get, get to choose difficulty, difficulty, this is where you get. <laughs> Don't worry, this doesn't affect combat, but just every other aspect of your whole life. Savage. Ubisoft, y'all some savages. The darker you are, the more difficult the game is. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's funny as hell, yo. Let's go to this one. I can change my look later. Actually, I wanted to have some glasses on. Clean, the red ones. There we go. Yeah. Now he official. And, it's, and it said it doesn't affect gameplay, it's just it affects everything else in your life. That's classic, yeah. Next. Okay, so the more difficult you make it, the darker your color of your skin is. Don't worry, this doesn't affect combat. Just every other aspect of your whole life. Okay, that's, thank you, Cartman. Um, that's close enough. Don't worry, this doesn't affect combat. Just every other aspect of your whole life. There it is. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for it to pop up. You just actually have to sit here a little bit longer to decide. Well, so I think the black people have been playing the South Park game too long and kind of bite into that difficulty factor. <laughs> so, black people, quit playing this fucking game and believe in the, your the darker your skin is, the more difficult your life will be. <laughs> You're in America. You have to earn fucking what you want in life. You, it's not given to you. Nothing's given to you. Yeah, you might have some rich relatives that might die and you might inherit their money and stuff. Lucky you. Not everybody has a a rich relative, rich parents, um, but if you do have a rich relative, rich parent, I'm pretty sure they had to work for what they had, or be a special person, probably um, an athlete, or a movie star, or somebody famous or something or were very smart and had an awesome thought and made a good job and made a good living at it um but no the darker the skin does not affect how hard life will get you on white if I stay out of the sun I stay white but if I go in the sun I go tan man I get pretty burned up get kind of brown um, do I uh, have a harder life when I get a tan no I don't 
I have a harder life when I'm an asshole to people. When I expect shit from people. Um, if I want a job, walking in thinking, ah, I want a job, hire me on here, on here, because um, I deserve the job. Uh, let's uh, talk about qualifications. Have you ever done the job before? No. I just thought I'd probably like it. And I see you're paying good money for it, so give me the job. Well, it doesn't work that way. We do have uh, on-the-job training programs. So maybe if you work hard through that on-the-job training course, courses that we offer, and when there's a position available, um, we'll give you a crack at it. Um, so here, we'll be happy if, if there's a space available to uh, hire you and you want to move up in the company, yeah. Um, feel free to join our uh, on the job training programs. Um, you might have to go to college at night while you why uh, you should you want to be sleeping and partying and, and doing drugs and things like that? Oh, we can't be having you doing drugs on the job, so you can't be doing a, any kind of drugs or sh shit like that. What? Can't do drugs on the job, but uh, uh, uh okay, well, fuck this job. I ain't gonna call me. I want fucking free shit. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, no, the, the day you finally fucking wake up, it's not the color of your skin, it's how you treat people, and how you're willing to pitch in, get shit done, that impresses the bosses, that's how you make money, um, you don't expect anything, you go to work, you do your fucking job, punch out and go home. But the big clue is you'll never be wealthy working for somebody. You're working for somebody to make that person rich and that person deserves the uh, rewards of offering jobs to people to at least give you some food and maybe pay for your rent or your house or whatever you might have to be living in at the time. But no, nope. stop playing South Park's little game here on uh, the difficulty if um, gets harder. You know, if you want, you know, have to be black to be difficult. <laughs> Believe me, I'm a white boy. I. I've worked some shit jobs as a white boy growing up because I didn't have a, I didn't have education when I was younger. I was just a, a good weekend drunk. Hell, come Friday and Saturday, shit, call the buddies up. We're going to go buy beer and drink until we woke up with a fat girl or something. <laughs> something, oh, shit, not another one. But, uh, no, it finally took me when I turned about 30 to finally realize, hey, I uh, talked to uh, human resources at a job and uh, see what kind of programs they might offer you, saying, hey, you know, I want to make more money. I can't make this kind of money. I want to have a, um, a better life. What kind of benefits do you offer? Do you pay for college or will you help pay for tuition and books if I pass the courses? And most uh, employers um, do have that available. You just have to ask your human resource department. Because as an employer, you want your employees to sustain exceed in their jobs and uh, events through the company 
So when, as the employer gets older and he really can't work anymore, he needs to rely on his business to support his lifestyle when he gets older. Um, he has a solid foundation underneath him. Not a bunch of fucking whiny people that are forced upon him to work for his company because uh, the government says they have to hire that type of person. Um, which companies probably don't really care too bad as long as there's not a lot of the fuckers. If you got a whole workforce of fucking idiots that don't know what fucking thing what you're doing how the fuck are you gonna have that business survive I'm just saying it's not prejudice it's saying hey I can't have a bunch of fucking idiots working for me I need to I could have one or two, or maybe a handful that are willing to go through my um, on-the-job training programs, so I can get them up to speed where they need to be. I ain't gonna pay them tons of money, but I'm giving them the fucking opportunity to improve themselves by learning, and when they finally get to the point where they should be for the job then they'll start getting that money and then when they want to go up the ladder a little bit more we might have another job training program available for that position but meanwhile you gotta work for what you want you won't ever get work you won't get rich working for somebody. You're going to have to be a boss one of these days. You'll have to start a company. Um, it doesn't have to be a big old fucking com company like uh, Walmart or Sam's or anything like that. It could be this little mom and pop shop. And, uh,. You just supply a demand that people want. Some kind of want. Somebody wants something. And you can meet the demand. You won't have to worry about it. But. You might have to deal with some employee issues. But other than that. Uh, I always loved. I had co-workers. That, that were black. They would throw the old race fucking card at the boss if there's a position open and uh, say oh you gave it to him because he was white no I got the position because I knew what the fuck I was doing for the spot um, what the fuck do you know about the position other than it paid a little bit more money and you wanted it um, too bad um, that kind of bullshit needs to stop and it's total fucking bullshit but yeah and all this uh, racist bullshit I'm seeing on the news and all these fucking democrat back fucking looters and business burners just uh, getting away with that because the cops can't you know the, the mayors for the cities don't call let Trump uh, bring in the federal troops to smash it stop it or the governors won't let Trump do it they do not no we don't need it well, we don't want no Trump help Meanwhile, all these people, these fuckers, criminals that are burning, looting businesses, destroying businesses, not just the owners of the businesses, but the employees that that owner had no longer have jobs. And they're real thankful for these fucking scumbag people.
that came into a town that uh, had nothing to do with anything but these fucking criminals thought oh let's go harass this town they look like a bunch of pussies <laughs> so but it's nice seeing Americans finally standing up saying oh uh, we're not gonna put up with your fucking bullshit anymore you want to start that shit we're gonna shoot you on the spot which is good the only thing I don't like seeing is fucking kids with guns parents what the fuck are you letting your kid out in the street at night going to a riot zone with a fucking AR-15 or some kind of gun pretending that your son's going to be there to protect the town. Now your son's going to get fucking killed. These people are fucking criminals. They got guns. They'll shoot your kid. Fucking dead. They'll shoot anybody fucking dead. They don't give a fuck. I've already killed 38 people. Um, to the business owners and for the people with AR 15s right standing on the street, hanging it on your shoulder, looking like a douchebag. You're just a fucking open target. These fuckers will shoot your ass. And then when the fucking gunfire starts, um, it's just going to be ma'am. Everybody's going to get killed. The bad guys probably won't. They'll be laughing. They'll be going to look. They're fucking shooting everybody. And uh, that's what these little criminals are wanting to have happen. The best I can suggest for a, a business owner, gather up your friends, your adult friends, keep your kids at home with your wife um, or have a relative staying with them that knows how to handle a gun just in case the scumbags want to come to the neighborhood and raise hell while you're trying to defend your city um, get a bunch of adult friends with guns loaded a lot of ammo sit in your business doors locked Lights turned off, closed for business sign, closed on the door. And you start seeing these little hoodlums coming. Start breaking windows and start coming in. Then you got a turkey shoot. Then you're killing the right people. Then you don't have a problem. But when you accidentally shoot an innocent bystander and when bullets fly, they don't just fly for a short while. They'll fly for about a mile or two down the road. And who knows what that bullet's going to hit. You kill somebody laying in bed. Going, damn, I'm just sitting there watching Jay Leno and all of a sudden this bullet came through my living room window and shot my wife right in the forehead so yeah but when you got these old scumbags rushing your fucking store to loot and then you see a motherfucker lighting a match with some kind of fluid to set your place on fire you just pig drop the motherfucker you just fucking blow his fucking ass away and then finally, these people will run out of scumbags and the problem solved. But yeah, I'm getting fed up with it. Thank God it's not happening over here, but these scumbags will come and travel. And it's okay, scumbags. I am willing to blow your heads clean off your bodies. You get all the body armor as you want but your head will be gone on a pretty damn good shot <laughs> so <clears throat> it's not hate speech it's just friendly advice to any douchebag it feels like they want to die young and stupid that's the way to go but yeah 
But yeah, I am I'm not for people standing on the side of the street with their a ARs looking like little douchebags. Yeah, I'm here to protect the city. <laughs> no, you're here to die. You're not fucking gonna do a damn thing. And especially parents that these little fucking kids with AR fifteens um at a riot situation. What kind of fucking parent are you? Some kind of stupid ass that wants to lose your kid and then you can get on front of the reporter's camera. Oh, you shot my poor Johnny. He was here to protect the city. No, you're, he was here to be a fucking easy fucking kill. Fucking stupid. Now, if, if you're gonna kill these little bastards, Sit in your fucking business, wait for them to bust in. Then you got all the right in the world to blow the motherfuckers away. And I will run like fucking little rats and uh, I won't come back. Alright, everybody, be safe out there. It's gonna be hump day Thursday tomorrow. We'll see what the fuck happens tomorrow. Alright. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.